everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Amy if you're just joining me now. Hi, if you are returning then thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. But if you are new then please go and click that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you get notified of all my new uploads. I usually post once a week but at the moment I am getting two videos a week on a Wednesday and a Sunday up for you. So if you like a little bit of consistency, you love unboxings, beauty, chatty videos, hauls and so much more then come and join us here because we do have a lot of fun I think a little bit different for you I just absolutely love clothes as you know clothes obsessed such a hoarder absolutely love fashion but it is really hard not to fall into that fast fashion kind of thing um as much as I love Primark I am a Primark girl I'm actually wearing something from Primark today but I do love using Vinted. It's such a cool app. Um, I'll pop mine down below so you can always go and check that out if you like a bargain. Um, but I've just got a collective haul of secondhand buys that I've bought and bargains that I found, which is all clothing um, from Vinted and some local charity shops to me as well. So if you'd like to see what I got, then please keep watching. So like I say, I do love Primark. I am definitely a Primark girl and partial to a haul. So if you would like an upcoming Primark haul, then pop a comment down below and let me know because I'd love to go and spend some money there um, and show you guys what's new. Today is a vintage haul slash charity shop haul. So let's just get on with that and look at the clothes, shall we? So I actually found one of my favourite tops um, on Vinted and I did spend a little bit, quite well, quite a bit of money for me um, for a second hand top. But it is from Motel Rocks and it is absolutely gorgeous. And I actually used, so on Vinted, when you sell items, you get money in your account and then you can use that money to actually then go and purchase on there. So sometimes I will leave a little amount in there just in case I see something that I like. But this is just so gorgeous. I don't know if the camera is gonna do it justice, but it is absolutely beautiful. So it's almost like meshy, but it's got like little kind of velvet furry hearts. Um, and it's that kind of style that I love with the big shoulders because I just feel like it really suits me. I feel like I found the kind of style that suits me and I love it. And it is cropped, but it's not too cropped. And you can wear it without a bra, which I really like because obviously that's a lot more comfy. I think I paid about £17 for this. Um, but I absolutely adore it. I don't regret it in the slightest. I think it's so gorgeous. Um, so that is the first item. And I'll pop a little picture of me wearing it in as well. So the next item I actually haven't worn yet, but it's something that I completely fell in love with and I thought was such a good buy, which again is from Vinted. I paid £5 for this, plus you have to buy, uh, pay for a buyer's protection fee and obviously the postage, um, so you have to cover the cost of that. But the actual item itself was £5, but it is from Zara. I don't know if it's in the sort of older collection or something it just says Zara woman um in a size small and it's just this gorgeous dress um absolutely love the print oh it's not done up let me show you it done up so you can actually see the shape of it a little bit better um but yeah I haven't actually worn this out yet but look at the print I feel like it's just me in a print like it's got these gorgeous lilies um, and it's just so pretty with like the green, the orange and the pinks running through it. Um, I don't normally buy black, like I don't actually wear an awful lot of black unless it's a night out. I don't know why. I don't know if anyone else is like that. I just tend to wear more black on a night out. But this is just such a gorgeous dress. It is quite low because I have tried it on but I haven't worn it out. But I thought I could put like a little lacy bralette or something underneath just to kind of hide a little bit and give a little bit of support. But it's nice. It's not too long. It's not too short. It's a perfect length for me. And I honestly just thought what an absolute steal. Absolutely loved that. The next item is something that I wanted from ASOS a while ago and they had sold out and I was quite devastated but I reasoned with myself and was like just move on and then I discovered Vinted from one of my friends at work 
shout out to you Gem, making me spend some money um but basically this is an old asos i think from last year um asos design dress and you'll all recognize it i feel like it was one of those dresses that everyone had or wanted and it is just beautiful so it's got like the checkered the red checkered pink checkered and then the gorgeous floral print at the bottom it's very puffy it's got very very big sleeves it's gorgeous but it does need an iron so i haven't actually ironed it yet which means i haven't worn it yet um i do feel like a little bit like a dolly in it but i love it if you can hear rain or thunder the heavens have literally just opened and i've got to leave in about an hour so that's great um but i'm gonna power through so sorry if you can hear the torrential weather this is literally one of my favourite buys I've ever, ever, ever made. Um, and this was from a charity shop in Birchington in Kent. Um, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And it was basically new. Um, it's from Warehouse, which I know is quite spenny. It's quite an expensive, like nice brand um, to buy from. And it is a size eight, does fit me absolutely beautifully. And I haven't worn it yet. I actually bought it, I think I bought it last year, but I don't remember wearing it. Um, but I thought I have to show you guys just because I'm so in love with it. And I was absolutely thrilled when I found it in there. I picked it up and I knew immediately that I was gonna buy it. I was on a little charity shop kind of shopping day with one of my best friends after we had our afternoon tea. I remember it so clearly. It was a gorgeous day, I had such fun. And yeah, it's beautiful, such a bargain, £5.50. Don't know if I just said that. But yeah, absolutely love this skirt. And I love these kinds of midi skirts because I feel like they're really flattering, but they're not too out there. You know, they're just long enough that you don't feel like you can't bend down. <laughs> That's what I like as a kind of tallish girl. I'm five foot eight. So I like to be able to move freely. It is a bit of a weird one and I don't know if anyone's actually going to like this. I've never worn it because I don't know if it's too big. I haven't really, I don't even know if I've tried this on. It's just been in my wardrobe, but I thought I'd add it to this haul. I really liked the simplicity of the buttons. I just thought they're really pretty and it's that nice kind of boxy shape. It is quite big and I know it's a bit grannyish, and people are probably going to be like, Amy, what the hell? Why did you buy that? But I just thought it was really cute and it was a pound, a pound, what a bargain. So yeah, that's a pound. My little bargain of the haul, um, absolutely love it. The next item is a gorgeous dress. This is my favourite thing other than that warehouse skirt in the whole haul. This was a vintage find and it is absolutely beautiful. It's really hard to show you how gorgeous it is um, on camera but it's sort of like one of those, is it called a cow neck? I don't know, <laughs> something like that. But it's one of those gorgeous necks like this and it's nice and long, but it's also got kind of um, a gorgeous pleated bit at the bottom. And it's that beautiful pattern with, I think peonies on, absolutely stunning and it actually still had its tag attached and i paid i think eight nine pound for this not too sure um but it's originally from dlsb and it's called not your babe oh fuchsia 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 floral midi dress in size eight fits me beautifully don't need to wear a bra you know i love not wearing bras if i can get away with it or just really comfy ones because i just can't be bothered but yeah, absolutely gorgeous dress. One of my favourite things I bought. The next few things are from charity shops and stuff that I just absolutely fell in love with. One of them I think you may have seen. I'm not too sure, but um, you'll want to see it again, so that's fine. Um, this is just a little dress. Um, I actually bought this for date nights with someone um, who I'm no longer with, um, so that's awkward, but it's fine because someone else will want to take me out on a date, so <laughs> hopefully I'll get a lot of wear out of these two gorgeous dresses for some upcoming date nights, if anyone wants to take me out let me know, but this is like a shirt dress and I haven't really made this look very nice, hang on, so it is a gorgeous shirt dress 
but it's got little frills at the bottom and it does look like it would be too short for me but it actually fits me quite nicely it's from i saw it first and it is a size six which i was a little bit worried about but i did actually try it on in the shop um which i don't normally do but one of my friends was trying something on as well and she got a gorgeous river island dress for a bargain um it is worn it's definitely worn it's got some frays in certain areas but I don't mind because I think it's a really nice dress um, and it fits really well. So yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. Absolutely love it. So the next item you probably have seen, I've definitely either worn it or shown you because I was just so impressed with it. And it is this gorgeous green jumper um, and it is actually from M&S originally. So it would have been a lot of money. And it's really heavy, really thick cable knit. And it's like mushy pea green is what I like to call it. It's definitely been in pictures on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me, go and follow me or pop it down below. Um, but yeah, this was M&S, size small. Um, my mum actually purchased this for me in a charity shop. I think it was £4 or £4.50. But I just think what an absolute bargain because it is such an unusual, gorgeous colour. And I really, really love that. So the final item in this haul was an absolute bargain in a charity shop. And it is from Pretty Little Thing. I know Pretty Little Thing's had some controversy, but I mean, it's second hand. So I am doing my bit with the second hand situation. And it's in a size eight. It's faux leather. It's very like crushed at the moment, but it's faux leather and it's a gorgeous little kind of midi slash mini skirt. It's got this gorgeous split here. Um, and I just thought it's really nice. It's in like this dusty pink, um, just a really beautiful, um, yeah, really beautiful skirt. And it fits me really nicely. I thought maybe for some kind of, uh, gatherings or weddings or something not that i really go anywhere but just in case some kind of occasion crops up and i need a nice skirt um could pop it with a nice silk blouse underneath just a nice little posh outfit really hope you enjoyed this video guys give this one a massive thumbs up comment down below what your favorite item was and let me know if you want me to do a primark haul or if there's anywhere else that you want me to do a haul for um more than happy to get some new clothes as you know you know me always happy um but yeah Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and I will see you very, very soon. Bye guys.